Campus complete. Golden age. Secure. Writer points still generating. Vikivik has its campus, which means my law speaker can now give me a three library. And I don't think I also get the science from that. No, it just boosts me up a little bit. 45 science per turn. Wow, this is a really big city. That's awesome. I love, I love how this is going so far. This has been a really fun game. Let's put my unique district down as well. Down on this tile, I think, maybe? I don't really know about the adjacency on this stuff. Let's put it down there. Just, it's a guaranteed source of food and production. At some point we'll need to get more settlers, but I haven't really got around to that as a priority yet. And as you can see, we're just about to build this. This should hopefully really boost this city up. Lovely. It's like a little private housing settlement. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Got little sheep just chilling out. Are those sheep or are those crazy woolly pigs? I don't know. They're wagging their tails like dogs. <laughs> Whatever they are, they're definitely Icelandic. The city's got crazy production now. I'm tempted to do something reckless, like try and build hanging gardens. I'm gonna make a beautiful kingdom. I mean, let's just use some of this useless floodplain. I don't want it. It's not doing anything for me. Builders? Ah, we don't need that. Let's go for Corvée again. I probably should be focusing all of my time and energy on getting great writers. We don't need those, though. A capital will deal with that in time, probably. Actually, if I get to the second tier of government first, I get an extra person, don't I? Autocracy, Classical Republic. You normally can do this. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. Oh, I just realized I've, the library I built has books in it. Ah, oh, I didn't, how did I miss that? <laughs> There's so many little mechanics in this mod, it's crazy. Let's just try and get the theater square down. Come on, we need some more points. Some more points as soon as we can. Construction we're gonna be getting naturally. Let's go currency instead. Kamasi is still giving me absolutely tons of my yields. Let's go for a route with Mahanja Diary now. Currency, oh, classical era ends in nine turns. That's no fun. We want as many of these writers done as possible. Reykjavik has a water mill, which gives me construction, which means I can now put down a lumber mill and get mass production. Excellent stuff. Now we're on to mathematics, which will be boosted by this missionary, hopefully spreading next turn to her Mahanjadaro. That's it. The volcano just went off again. I kid you not. Oh, it just ruined all the population. Ah, I was about to get 120 science. Should we let the city recover? I might let the city recover. Ah, oh, it's not worth it, is it? That's so frustrating. Never mind. Okay, we'll send, we'll send it back. down south. I'm getting six culture per turn from my belief at the moment. We can spread that further. I think we can get more than that. And governors. Let's just get grants for double great people points in my capital because we're going to get the amphitheater here very soon. Oh, three turns of hanging gardens and it was stolen from me. Never mind. Means I've got a bit of production I can use. Do I get a shrine or should we just go straight for the theater square in this city? Hmm. Actually, I could go for Great Bath or Machu Picchu. Oh, are you still building Machu Picchu? That hasn't moved at all. I tell you what, Machu Picchu with all of these mountains here would be a really good one for me. Seems a bit excessive. A bit wasteful though. Ah, uh, let's put the theater square down. Come on, we'll do it. Only two turns for it. Any more builders? It's almost like monumentality needs to come out now. Can we have an alliance? It'll give me an economic alliance. Cool. Yeah, that'll do. Sailing. Done. Another great writer, which should give me some gold. 54 gold. Is that it? Oh, I thought we'd get more than that. Never mind. Let's finish off Ancestral Hall. I'm trying to use my production on things my gold can't buy. It is tricky though. Amphitheater. In my capital, that means another two writing points per turn. That's good for the next era. This is also really good because we've got more spaces for great works of writing. It's three turns left. I'm really hoping whoever this is grabs this great writer. Please do. You've probably got gold. You use it. Apadana has been taken. Ah, it was a little bit of a problem because I was thinking about getting Apadana, but there's so many things to get at the moment. I don't really think I had the production spare. So it was not a problem. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, we didn't do it. One turn remaining. I don't really want to use all of my faith on this great writer, but it would guarantee that there's another two in the game. It's whether or not that's going to be better than all of the builders I'm just about to produce. I don't know. Olafur Borodison? I don't actually know. Is that like a D? Or is that a B? Or is that another symbol I'm not sure of? I'm not sure. This theatre square's culture adjacency bonus provides science as well. Gain 60 science for every great work of writing in the city. Oh, that second bit is quite good. What do I want to boost science-wise? Should we just get military engineering and work out where NITA is? That'll be quite good for the economy. All of the great works of writing are already in Reykjavik, so I might as well just go BAM. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That was so much. Who else to pick up now? Magnus. I like the idea of being able to produce settlers en masse. So here we go. A new era greets us. And what will we find in it? No one's entirely sure. But we know it started when we discovered military engineering. Did we get any NITA, I wonder? Little bits here and there. Okay, not a huge amount though. Dedication. It has to be monumentality. I know that we could use fairs to get 
some science, but I really like the idea of now burning through my thief per turn to get a bunch of builders and settlers and all of the good stuff. It's been a little while since I've played a game with lots of faith. Just watching these shrines get put down will be quite fun. World Religion, who has the most points here? Whoever this person is that we haven't met, Eastern Orthodoxy. Let's vote for that. Probably going to go through. And then trade routes to me. Yes, actually, that's really good because I'll get another Kamasi route out of that. So I'll put both my votes down and we win the draw. So we get two points. Amazing. In goes Serfdom. We've still got Literary Tradition. We've got Scripture. This is all lovely. Last writer was taken. That's okay. Only three writers got taken from that era, but don't worry. We'll pick up more as we go along. And now all of our builders are going to have five charges, which is what we've been holding off on. So we can go Builder, Builder, and Builder. I'm just focusing on making sure the cities I've got have got absolutely full of everything they need before we go settling everywhere else. It's not the maybe the best option for me. I'm just taking this game nice and slow. Building up very calmly, and we'll also use a little bit of faith to get a trader. Where's my trade route? Here it is. Kamasi. Bam. Another envoy. Excellent. And now my builders in my capital are going to start turbocharging production because we have so many unworked woods. Unimproved woods, I should say. I am working them naturally. We're going to see as well. See what the world has to offer. My first temple is also complete. As soon as I get the second temple, we should get monarchy and jump on that government, hopefully, first. We'll see if the AI has got enough to keep up with me on that front. What do we think? Mahabadi Temple? I think so. Muscat. And Australia is the other person. Why is Muscat being killed? Hmm. I think Persia's not playing very nicely, are you? Dear, oh dear, Mr. Persia. Oh, actually, I'm just going to wait a turn because Magnus is about to pop up in this city. The world is ours for the taking. Oh, so I can see. Just don't come anywhere near me. This is what I, I suspected the problem of playing Iceland was going to be. A lot of volcanic eruptions and oh, <laughs> everything just melted in this area. Oh dear. That's not good. That needs fixing. Actually, we can do a bit of fixing now. Let's fix this and then this. Yes, look at that. Easily done. John Curtin. I think I'm the first to meet everyone. I think or no, Persia is technically. Never mind. Do you want to buy some iron or horses, John? Yes, that's a good deal. Uh, well, maybe we'll be first to circumnavigate the globe. That's what we'll try and do. Classical Republic. Classical Republic. Autocracy. If we go monarchy first, we should get two of our unique units. We'll see if that plays out correctly. Right. Great writer points. Excellent. I would love it if I could do defensive buildings quicker, and I'd love it even more if I could get double experience on recon, because I'll try and throw a few more out, because I'm just, I'm feeling like that today. We don't really have a housing or happiness problem right now, so we'll go serfdom, writers, diplomatic league, and I'll switch that to charismatic leader, because we haven't got any more city states. Oh, there's loads more city states on the map. We'll put scripture back in. There you go. That'll do as a combination. I like scripture in when we've got monumentality in, and yep, two law speakers. Let's have a look and see what they do. My unique district on tiles with breathtaking appeal provide two culture and one great writer points. Oh yeah, that's really good. Earn faith whenever I recruit a great writer and 90 faith for every great work of writing in this city. Amazing. Actually, what I'm going to quickly do is just double check. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's for me. Let's have a look. How much is a great work of writing? 204. I will buy that from you because now I have five in a city and that's the max I can get. So I can go bam. Oh, that's so much faith. And then we'll get two culture for every unique district I've got because they're all on breathtaking tiles. Yeah, look at that. Five, three, three, two. This is wonderful. I love it. Military alliance with Persia. I feel like Persia is the most feisty out of everybody. So that's not a bad idea. Look at all that marsh. Oh, don't let China settle on that. That would be horrific. Mahanjadaro cannot catch a break. Oh my goodness. Look at these tiles. <laughs> <laughs> it is so tempting to raise that city-state and settle that. It really is, but oh my lord. city to state emergency. Everyone's at war now with Persia. That's fine. You fight amongst yourselves. I'm busy building Mahanjadaro. Nope, Madihabadi Temple. That's Mahanjadaro. I don't know what we're doing. Whatever it is, we're enjoying it. We've got 100 culture by turn 100 as well. Amazing. Right, provision on Magnus. Get that faith by those settlers. Here we go. We're meeting all of the city-states now. Singapore is is over here. I'm the first to meet them. Excellent. And a cad, which is Curtin's friend. That's all good. And a great writer, which has given me 95 gold and 63 faith just for earning them. I like that. That's awesome. And the settler spam begins. Where do we spam? Where do we go? Who am I? Where am I? What do I do? I think I'm going to close off this area from China fully. So we're going to go and settle down over here. There's no real breathtaking tiles, but don't forget we are clearing a lot of rainforest. This is because coming more and more breathtaking 
by the day. And with this amount of culture, it's not going to be long before I hit conservation and I can start planting my own forests. That'll be nice when I can do that. Patiti! Oh my lord, there's so many natural wonders on this map. Why can't I have any of them? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's my, it's my literal thing. Population 15 capital now. That'll do. That'll do. So we're settling over there. I'm just trying to work out whether it makes sense to settle on this coast. It might do just to block it off and to actually claim that source of honey. Yeah, let's go in this direction and settle there as well. This is true settler spam right now. We are having a lot of fun. Interesting that the Chinese city directly south of me is losing loyalty. China is in a golden age. How are you managing that? What are you doing? Negative happiness. Huh. Well, if I keep settling all around you, that's going to help matters, right? Definitely help matters. Yes, that's what I think. Next up, humanism. I scrapped that. Missile banking and diplomatic service. Yes, actually, that would be really good. So I can get some good trade routes to city-states from my capital. Building things like harbors. We'll get a couple of commercial hubs up. I know I'm focusing on theater squares, but it always pays to get a little bit of trade in. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, this loyalty pressure is really, really racking up now. I mean, I'm, I'm classing this as a forward saddle towards me. So I quite like the fact that we're now putting pressure back on China. Mahobody Temple. Now this is right next to a theater square, which is lovely. So I'm getting more adjacency from that. But also I get two diplomatic victory points. Very nice. And two, three apostles, which means I can finish my religion. And don't forget, every time I get a Scorp, so for building the wonder, finishing my religion, all that sort of stuff, I get more great writer points. It all is stacking so lovely. I will evangelize. I mean, I could look at the promotions, but I'm not going to because I'm unlikely to use them right now. I just want to finish my religion. Fez is on the map, so Holy Order has to be a really good option. Apostles, 30% cheaper to produce. Really good. And mosques, yeah, that stacks really nicely with Fez. It means I can spread even better. What's Reykjavik going to do now? I'm tempted to put an industrial zone down, which sounds strange because I don't really want to be ruining my appeal, but if there's an area that doesn't have any appeal, might as well utilize it and put an industrial zone down. Like over here is somewhere that is likely to not have much, but you do want to have some factories. That's the thing. Three, four, five, six. Ugh, I want to put it somewhere that it's going to hit every single city though, so that if I do get factories and that sort of thing, it helps. Maybe I get rid of this cattle. I don't think that's very good though, because I might ruin the breathtaking on my natural, yeah, my unique district. I might need to think about this. I mean, that's nine turns on Mashi Pishu. Why have you not built Mashi Pishu world? <laughs> why, why are you doing this to me? I think I might try because then I can do industrial zone on this tile, which would be right in the middle of everything. I'm just not used to seeing it not built. I guess it's a really small map. That is a thing. Let's try it. Let's just try and build it. Stirrups because pasture improvements providing one food is amazing. And then we're going to go dams. Another city over in this direction now with a camp. Lovely, lovely camp. Get Liang so that when I get more builders, they have an extra charge. They work extra hard. Don't work harder. Work smarter. Don't work smarter. Work longer. Yes. Conflicting advice. This is what you need in life. There's diplomatic service. Give me Visselbanken. Yummy. City number six. Look at all these improvements I can put down immediately. Oh, these are all Temple of Artemis boosted as well. Johannesburg gives me production for every improved resource type. That's one of those actual abilities that always gives you more than you think it's going to be. Nazca. Oh, hello Nazca. I don't have any desert, but I might do soon. Rumi, my favorite great writer. I'll tell you what I really need. More spaces for great works of writing. That would be handy. Rumi gives plus four great works of writing. However, they're even better than normal. Johannesburg got eight culture on a trade route. Oh, any game with Kamasian is my favorite. There's a really good campus, a plus four there, but I'm actually going to build my unique district on it. Oh, I can't because it's not on desert. Oh, I thought I was being so clever that it's the only breathtaking tile the city can grab. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was being so clever. What I need to do is remove the rainforest from Kamasi's land. I wonder if I can do that. Can I get away with that? Let's try. Oh, I found a relic in a tribal village. Yay! Another city. Ignore the fact that it's on a bunch of marsh. It's fine. Oh, look at this. This city thinks it's escaping. Don't worry. I'm going to keep putting the loyalty pressure on. You'll get there. It's actually quite fun putting down my unique district. Like trying to find somewhere that I think it's going to be put down in a breathtaking way and then managing the chops to do it in a particular order. Oh, if you do it right, you really do it right. Can I chop this rainforest? Ah, oh, I can't chop the rainforest because it's in Kamasi's territory. That was so close. Never mind. I can remove the camp. There's some things you can do. Some things it lets you do and other things it's like, no, 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 no. You've gone too far now. <laughs> 
<laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. Right, survey is a useless card. I really don't like it. Let's instead put in veterancy. It's a bank and scripture, Republican legacy, all of the good stuff. Buttress. Our science isn't half bad. Where are we on the science rank last? Okay, but only five techs behind China. We are only one tech behind everyone else. Yeah, we're, we're in the middle of the pack. We are packing some fun. What do we do next? I think I kind of want to try and get Kilwa. Given how many city-states we have managed to absorb into our empire, it's quite a lot here for us. Singapore and Tanarivo. Let's grab you as well. Both of you at once. Lovely. And we've circumnavigated the globe doing that. Perfect. Oh, Musk gets back. It must have been liberated. Okay, I just built another library and it doesn't have great works of writing. So it was just the one that I used my lawmaker for. Okay, okay, that's good. It's good to check these things. Sometimes you don't know. Let's get a mosque. If I do that, I can start getting apostles and send them down to Kamasi, Longji. All of China's cities will convert them and get some fez bonuses. That could be a lot of fun. Actually, thinking about it, I'm going to switch over to theocracy. Normally, I like monarchy, but 15% faith discount combined with monumentality is going to mean we get a lot of bonus things. And, oh, we've got our unique district down. Tasty, tasty. I'm building a lot of harbors, chopping a lot of them out. When Kamasi's in the game, it's worth boosting these before the point that you get the holy sites finished. Normally, I would rush in the other direction, but this is this is fair. All right, well, where else do I settle? We've kind of grabbed everything on this mainland. There's a lot of desert and some marble up there, but this island, this whole landmass is up for grabs, and I really like that. What luxuries have I not got? I haven't got the chocolate. Spices is a thing. There's night of there. Where's the beautiful land? Mm, there's not much of it. It's mostly rainforest. Rainforest isn't bad if we chop it all out, though. So let's maybe go and settle there. Uh, I don't know, actually. No, let's just, just we'll go across the sea. We'll find somewhere to settle. I don't know how or why the AI has let me have this one, considering China started building it about 60 turns ago, but I will take this. Mashu Pishu. Commercial hubs, theatre squares, industrial zones, all being given mountain adjacency. Oh, yeah. I, it's just the novelty of building it. This is why I kind of like playing small maps every now and then. Very different game. A plus five industrial zone because of it. <laughs> <laughs> in a place where it's not going to bother the breathtaking appeal of anything around it. It's perfect. I could not have engineered a better situation. I think this tile is now, yep, breathtaking. So clear granary, chop out stone, pop down district, and it instantly gets completed. I love that. <laughs> It's just done. Doesn't even need to wait. There's no point. Here's Reformed Church. Okay, huge faith discount now. Limes, veterancy. I don't think that's a bad idea. Vessel Bank and Serfdom. Sculpture. No, scripture, I should say. Let's put Republican legacy back into this government and settle another city. Try saying that one. Sauda Kruka. I don't think that's how you say that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it was worth a try. We've got Chaucer. Another load of faith in gold. Excellent stuff. It's gone off again. No one died though. Somehow. That's good. And uh, barely anything was broken. Hey, sometimes you gotta take these things. What does this apostle have? 100 gold if it converts the city? Yeah, I'll take that. Tell you what though, Persia. If you start converting me, I'm gonna have a problem with you very quickly. The harbour is finished. Humanism is finished. That's invention. If I can get a couple of workshops out... That would be very much worth it. Not that I'm just holding on to 2,000 gold to buy Imhotep to then rush a bunch of wonders. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. That would be diabolical. Oh, my production has spiked. It spiked so huge. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I want more of my writers, don't I? My, my special lawmaking writers. So what do I want? Grandmaster's Chapel, Foreign Ministry, Intelligence Agency. I'm not really planning on going to war. Foreign Ministry would give me more diplay favor and let me leverage city-states, which would mean a huge amount of stuff. But I think Intelligence Agency, agency. Then I can try and send a lot of spies out to fix all of the elections, which I mean, you know, that doesn't sound like a very nice thing to do. It could be diabolical, you could say, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. What's up next, though? I'm going to go now straight for conservation. If I can plant woods, I feel like breathtaking tiles, not going to be a problem for me. Go on, then. Let's grab Imhotep. And Fez, you still on side? Yes. You're going to give me a huge boost? Of course you are. Military tactics. Hammers 120 cents. That's two turns worth of science in one go. Of course it is. I, for one, love it. I actually, yeah, I'm going to go industrialization. I don't think there's any
any reason why I wouldn't just rush that. City number nine, and I think this is on a new continent? No, this is all the same continent, is it? It's all Asia, always has been. Fair enough, we won't argue. More religion, more science. I can almost hear the chorus. I'm ready to start mass settling again with an extra discount. My settlers are even cheaper than they have been in some time. I need to make more holy sites, actually. There's a lot I need to do. Harbors are really good for trade routes for my capital. Holy sites are good for thief growth, which means more widespreading and also then the food for the cities. And then theater squares, let me put down my great works of writing. Go on, Kamasi. Yeah, perfect. This is actually increasing my culture as I go along as well, because don't forget, I do get culture from my religion. Finishing up, hopefully, yep, my holy sites. And that means I can now chop build out my unique district. <laughs> These new cities are, are really quickly coming online. As long as you can get a couple of breathtaking tiles, it's a really satisfying sieve to play. Like we're up there at, I'd say at least an elephant out of two apples in terms of satisfaction level. Yeah, I know, I'd go that far. Is this gonna rush? Are we gonna rush? Oh, next turn for Mausoleum. Right, reason I rushed Mausoleum, usual way, it gives me an engineering charge. That will give Emotep one more charge, effectively gives me one three wonder. Speaking of, why did I build it in this city and not in a city with more coast for science and faith and culture? Well, the reason is simple. Look, the theater square's there. That's kind of it. That's the only reason I built it. I was being lazy. Oh, it's still beautiful. Do you not realize that we're supposed to be the preeminent builders of wonders? Australia. Australia. Look, just get good. That's all I can say in this instance. Get good. Colosseum is still available, you know. Oh, that is really tempting. I do fancy putting Colosseum down because I reckon I could actually go somewhere in the middle of my empire that would apply to everything as long as it's flat land there it's not every city but it's most of them that's five or here ah that's six anyone anyone should be happy with a six settlement coliseum i mean that's pretty good another writer it's a bit more resource 233 gold this time that's even more that's a bigger number we like big numbers excellent let's get the amphitheater in and where is my favorite there you are roomy over your pop bam these are the best ones works of great writing. My tourism is actually starting to grow now. Australia is the domestic tourist leader and we're nowhere near getting enough tourism to start winning the game, but we're not far already and that is unbelievable to say. Usual thing, chop into a blank city. Now there's a breathtaking towel there, pop it down and oh, almost rushed it, almost rushed it in one go. I think I'm gonna start training up Moksha because I like the idea of having crazy powerful apostles running around the map. It's been very satisfying about that. Oh, and the intelligence agency is now finished, which means I have this law speaker. Oh my lord. Try saying that. Ulf Hedin Gunnarsson. I'll take that. If this city does not have a shrine containing great works, constructs a shrine and grants it two additional great works of writing slots. Oh, this city does not already have a shrine with a great work slot. So yeah, perfect. Oh, it's, it's in my capital and everything. So many spaces for great works of writing now. Yay. Oh, I like this. It's a huge boost for my capital. Massive boost for my capital. What am I doing? There you go. Move you to there and bam loads more tourism per turn we need to upgrade pingala to get more tourism at some point now what to do well i think a commercial hub is in order because again kamasi really giving me a lot of benefit two culture and one gold for every district in my capital when i send them out it, it's just stacking really nicely which is the most competed city state it's got to be a cad yeah i reckon a cad so over you go i'm gonna make an alliance with everyone that's my aim australia is already just coming on side he's like hey Hey, I think this Ursa is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Then I'll be allied with everybody and then I don't have any spies coming into my land. I cannot tell you how relaxing this game will be if I know that spies aren't going to kill Pingala every 10 seconds. Aid request. Yeah, go on, man. I'll help with that. Usual job. Go to Australia on turn one. Say, hey, Curtain. How you doing? Have a single gold. Then we're agreed. Yes. And now if nobody puts anything else in, I'm going to win. I don't think international aid on that small scale would ever really be accepted, but what can you do? We'll give it a go. We get to vote again. Oh, and culture bombs. Right, this is really important. I win this one. We'll go city center on the other vote. But if I can get culture bombs, then I can actually steal. Yes, I can steal tiles from Mahanjo Dairo. Ah, oh, this is suddenly so sneaky. I'm going to settle on this tile in the snow because then that acts as a natural canal. And then I think I'm going to settle there. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Civil engineering. Maybe my builders will stop shouting obscenities at me now. Who knows? I like these tiny cheeky bits of science. It's very handy. Colonialism means we're getting into some nice stuff now.
Now, Serfdom is... I mean, I always like this card. I'm going to just quickly take Scripture out. Not for long, but just for long enough to put Gothic Architecture in. Buy myself an Arena and then place the aforementioned Colosseum, which now with a 15% boost to production should complete immediately. Now, this hits my capital, which is my Pingala City. That's the best bet. Culture, loyalty per turn, two amenities. It's all lovely. Plus, makes the surrounding area even more pretty, which is even better. It also looks really cool. Bam. Now, I'm really, really hoping my capital will figure itself out. And yep, it's already showing us happy. Excellent stuff. What other wonders can we still do? Stonehenge, Terracotta Army, Petra, Colossus. Ah, that's useful. Where would the best Colossus be? In this city. This is the city that Colossus would be handy in. Because I could then put a theatre square on that tile, I believe. I tell you what, for any empire that involves appeal on its yields, you do have to check every now and then. Look at my two aqueducts. These poor burning, smouldering elephants. <laughs> One of the elephants are gone. They're all gone and pillaged, oh dear. But they're actually reducing the yields of both of my districts there. So yeah, better get a builder up nice and quick. In fact, do we get a builder? No, actually, I'm saving the settlers. We've got six turns of this era left and I can do a lot more settling. Nine cities with only a few more settlers here. We need to sprawl. We need to sprawl everywhere on this map we can. We've got seven cities for Australia, six for Persia, six for China. And I just realized as well, we can pick up Venice, which makes my trade routes a little bit more effective. Amazing. Wow, for a four-player map. This is huge. Like, look at all this space. It's brilliant. These city-state trade routes. Oh, they're beautiful. 12 culture, 14 gold, and Vissel Banking yields. Go on, then. Reykjavik likes this a lot. A recon unit in a tribal village. Oh, that's, I like it when you use a tribal village to get a recon, to then get another tribal village. The chain, it's endless. We will indeed never break the chain. Fleetwood Mac would be so proud of us. So proud of us. I reckon we can easily get Reykjavik very soon to 20 population, especially if these city-state trade routes just continue. Oh yeah, trade routes are incredibly useful for us, and we're gonna get another one here because Colossus is here, one trade route capacity, but more importantly, it's a massive bronze man holding a flaming goblet of joy. Why would you not want this in your empire? Look at it, it even comes with a three stone henge around its feet. Yay! I think I might have actually exhausted all the high culture routes from Reykjavik. Yeah, no more city-states to trade with. Who is the next best city. This one. This is my second city. Okay, let's start sending my traders from this one instead. Just pure city-state trade routes. I could, in theory, start trading to the AI now, just to increase my tourism, but with only 73 tourism per turn, I feel like it's a little early to be worrying about that too much. Oh, caught in the nick of time. Converts in one turn. Missionary says, let it go, 100 science. Oh yeah. We have a few more envoys, and this time I'm going to pick up Nazca. Not because of the ability. Nazca lions are amazing, but not necessarily relevant to this game. No, I've got so many temples and shrines. I reckon that'll help. Yeah, another 12 faith per turn. A little more of the map. Nazca is actually next to some desert. There is some decent desert opportunity around here and Petra is still available. Yeah, I have to keep an eye on that. Also, I changed my mind yet again. I am actually going to send a trader to Persia just to get a little bit more tourism. I might as well start working on that now. Can I trade with Australia? I can. Where? Which city? Who? This one. All right, then I'll start sending uh, back to trade routes to city-states. I, I mean, I like city-state trade routes. They're really, really good. And bam, there you go. Yields are restored. Excellent. 250 signs for each adjacent mountain tile. Oh, I have a lot of mountain tiles. But they're all in a bit of a flat line, which is slightly frustrating. Got a lot of triples. Any bigger mountain ranges on this map? No, no, not really. This is a, a four tile. I think that's the best I've got in my empire and it's right by my capital. Sure. 20 population in Reykjavik. How many people does this actually now have in it? 4.3 million. I'm pretty sure that many people haven't even visited Iceland. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it. It's wonderful. Two new cities to found now. This one, which is my sprawling empire city, and this one, which is a terrible snow city. Now, what was the reason for this? Culture bombs. I want to steal as much of this natural wonder as I can. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing here. I feel very cruel doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I want to culture bomb these tiles. So this tile needs to be culture bombed. That'll take me one, two, three, and then this this city needs to culture bomb this tile. Simple. Has anyone ever wondered why we rig in triangles alone? Hmm, maybe square rigging would be better. Yes, and use that boost immediately to go to industrialization because I have a delightful little industrial zone that needs to be worked. Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to that scout? Oh my goodness. Y you'd feel I would have made a, a, a comic about something like that, but, but um, wow. Industrialization, let's just forget about that scout and move on into a golden age. Yeah. 
Yes, that sounds healthy. I don't think I've finished settling yet, so I'm gonna go Monumentality. I could go Hicksong Draconis and use the Continent Split, but this is all my continent. That's the unfortunate thing. Pangaea over here isn't, but apart from that it is. So I think I'm gonna take 30% cheaper settlers and 15% from my government to be 45% cheaper and just spam these things out. It makes a lot of sense. And a great writer. Still producing these. They're still amazing. Still give me gold and faith. I actually have now realized I got three great writer points for that one historic moment. So I'm no longer getting one for one. I'm actually getting much more than that. That's awesome. Okay, well, we need to continue putting down amphitheaters now. What do you think? Reykjavik with Pingala getting Kilwa? Hmm, it's going to remove the pasture, which is a good tile, but it's not being improved by Temple of Artemis because it's too far away. So that's a good opportunity to get this one in. We've got nine turns on that. Kilwa. Taj Mahal is being built in 14 turns, really making use of the Gothic architecture card here. Lovely. Finally starting to build some theatre squares as well. A little bit of extra tourism, although balancing holy sites and theatre squares together, there's a lot of extra stuff that I want, and a lot of it's very fun. Actually, this city's going to ignore both of those things and just go straight for a campus because, oh, it's like a plus five. Conservation. I can now plant rainforest. And by rainforest, I mean regular forest. Rainforest is absolutely not what I can do. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Never mind. My government still looks pretty good. Republican legacy, limes, veterancies, all doing nice things for me. Raj would be quite useful, but Visselbanken is better. I think actually focusing now on going to tier three governments. That could be a really good move for me. Akkad, do you want to join in with my merriment? Of course you do. And Reykjavik now has a factory. Coal power very soon. Actually, did I get any coal? Forgot to check that very crucial part. Some in the desert. Interesting. China's got some. China's got a lot. If I capture this city from them, which hopefully I will do in a couple turns, that'll be handy. Australia's got some. Lots in this sort of new world territory. That's very near where I've settled already. Okay, so coal is tricky. There's some up there as well, but it's not impossible. The holy site's finished. Oh, Mahanjo Dairo. <laughs> I've stolen all your stuff. All right, first one done. We just need to finish this industrial zone up here and I can steal all of this. And actually, this city is going to put a water park down on this tile because it's it's just too tempting. It's just too tempting. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennest, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Diebel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs, thank you everyone for your support, see you all in the next video, goodbye!